Good morning to Eric Yaverbaumer. Yaverbaum. Yaverbaum. <laughs> Associated getting After yeah. a whole conversation, look, you got look. the hard part right no, no, and the no, easy part no, wrong. Brian, see, Brian, here, don't let him just give me a hard time. Here's the deal. I always make sure before we start, I want to confirm that it's Yaverbaum, not Yaverbaum. And so I got part of it right. So uh, <laughs> Eric Yaverbaum here. Eric is a Two of years the doing this show. Come oh, on. Okay. I, gonna, I can pronounce your name now. You're going to develop a complex. I here. am from uh, you. Yeah, yeah. I am. Uh, all right. President of Erico Community. Communications co-founder of ReadVote.org, and Brian is there. Brian Baker, he's in uh, D.C. He is the president of Taxpayers Against Earmarks and Ending Spending Fund. Eric, why do you think, I mean, you can't speak for the Democrats that have fled the state, but obviously you are aware of their, their position, um, whether or not you like the way they're going about it. Um, how do you feel about the idea and some of the folks who are in support of the, the uh, protesters, the union workers, saying, hey, listen, if you practically water down our collective bargaining rights to where there's not much, then we're going to get the shaft. Well, really, I think the heart of the matter is, is that, is the, you know, can they opt out of paying union dues? Are you allowed to do that if you want to? Mm -hmm. If you're allowed to do that if you want to, that, that, that's what the unions are fighting so vigorously. Yeah, because if, if, you, if you have, what, say, a thousand union members and, and your dues are, I don't know, $50 a month or what have you, then this is how the unions, you know, they, they make their money to, to pay it's the representatives to go there. It's not how they make their money. It is the heart yeah. of all of their power. I mean, from running their daily operations right. to waging political campaigns to these multi-million dollar advertising campaigns that you see yeah. on, on their behalf. It's the heart it's of It's how it. they fight their fight. Yes. And if you ask, so then the question becomes, ask people that are in unions. I have a very good friend. She's a teacher. She's in the teacher union. I said, what do you, what, what do you think? What's your opinion? You're in a union. Is this good for you? You've been a teacher for a long time. She said that they should be leveled and reorganized. It doesn't work for her. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that, uh, Brian? Well, I mean, I think that it, you have to take incremental steps. And I think the very first thing that they ought to do, and I think the unions have actually agreed to this, as I understand this, as the Democrats have, have been unwilling to come back to the state to vote, but I, apparently the unions in Wisconsin have agreed to an increase in their contribution to their pension plans. But they're fighting the collective bargaining issue and they're fighting the, the compulsory dues issue. So I agree with Eric completely. Mm -hmm. You've got to get rid of the compulsory dues. It's confiscatory the way the unions steal the, their members' money. Um, I'm just reading one of these uh, 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 chats uh, coming in here uh, from Reese Cup. She says, Reese Cup actually. She says, um, what I have not seen really discussed is how this affects the parents and children, only how the unions and the teachers uh, fare. Yeah, well, that's the thing about the parents and the children. Like, where are they in the mix? And you know what you have in school systems? If you look, in every school that I go to, you find teachers, plural, teachers, who really care about the parent and the child. We're all debating something that's very different than what goes home every single day. Mm -hmm. Do those kids get the right education? And are they in a classroom with a teacher who's engaged in teaching them? I mean, here's the thing about unions and, and, and people who have tenure. Um, I, I'm a member of a union as well. Um, so, so I'm just to put that out there, it's after uh, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, some people would argue that um, uh, this is a generalization, that unions breed mediocrity. And people who have tenures, like, look, you can't fire me, you can't touch me, my wage won't, won't, uh, I won't, I can't get, my pay can't get docked if I don't perform. Well, that's not the way it is for regular people. If you don't, if you're a teacher, and, and I love teachers, by the way, I have so much respect for teachers, mad respect for teachers, I think they should be paid a whole lot more money. Everybody should love board. teachers. No, seriously, I mean that. But the good teachers. Uh, right, now, exactly Now, there are right. people who are still sitting in the classrooms, they're just kind of there because, hey, it's a, it's, a, it's a safe, secure job, and I don't really have to work yes, hard anymore, you know and I can phone it in. The good teachers don't like that about them. No, they don't. They don't like that Absolutely at all because not. there are people that sit inside of schools that don't, that, their heart isn't in it like the good teachers is. Our contributions are going, number three, is the uh, to state and municipal employees. Number three, that, that's $43 million. Number eight was the Education Association, who gave $31 million. So, you know, obviously there is some influence, and, and by the way, that's the same reason that earmarks get, get onto bills also. But I think what's most important in our school system is we call it down to its most basic, which is the student, the kid. What are we going to do to make our education system better because it's broken in this country? But maybe this is part of the process. Maybe this is part of the process well, by, through union reform. 
The so thing about union reform is that if you ask the average school teacher about their benefit package versus me, who's in the private sector, and my benefit package, I mean, I'm an employer, I have to pay for it, it's very expensive. Inside the school system, they may get a very good package. They, 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 there's no point of reference of, of, of either side, and there must be, and, and they must be brought to uh, you know, equal levels. That is a problem which I, that, that we both agree on. Okay. Um, so I continue then because you were on a roll trying to make a, a particular point. I think you were going to bolster your argument about how the, 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 the real focus should be on the children. Well, the focus, uh, it should be, I, I implore people to go into a public school. Go into a public school in a bad neighborhood and go but into I don't one think, in a great Eric, neighborhood. I don't think anybody Nobody listening... Does. They may not do it, but it's not like you have to stick your hand in a fire either to know that oh, you're going to get burned. Actually, you do. I live in a great neighborhood, and my kid gets a great education. And yeah, I pay a lot of taxes, but I take it for granted. Great education should so have everyone. So what's your point? You're saying what? That people who don't have some of the privileges that you uh, have worked hard to be able to afford, and thus your children, that they should be able to Deserve the best teachers possible. And if unions in any way, shape, or form create a system amongst the ranks of teachers, that give us below average teachers, then something's wrong with unions. Absolutely. I think everybody has agreed with that, that uh, we're not saying that this is, should be a whole uh, union busting uh, approach here, but definitely reform to make sure that at the end of the day, uh, there's not extra spending that shouldn't be there and that all contributions are somewhat uh, leveled and equaled and mainly that the children get the education that they need because our country is surely behind on the list of education. Indeed. Ar Arthel, if, if I can say one thing on this point, Eric, I don't know if you've seen the movie Waiting for Superman, right. but it was a documentary about the education crisis in America and it definitely takes on the unions. And I, I think if every American saw that movie, they would come to the same conclusion that you're advocating in terms of union reform to improve our schools. Well, I, no, I haven't seen it, but I'll definitely check it out. 